Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself. Today we're going to be making these really cute spring or Easter wall hangings with the little bunnies. Let's see what's in your kit. So in your kit you're going to have an embroidery circle, a piece of canvas, some ribbon, a paper template, a piece of foam, four colors of paint, pink, gold, purple, and blue. The white is glue, that is tacky craft glue, three little pom-poms in it. You'll also have two applicators, a sponge brush, a regular paintbrush, and a marker. I'm going to start with our embroidery circle and canvas. If you've never used an embroidery circle before, you're simply going to unscrew this piece until you can uh, probably almost there, and then take the outside circle off. This circle you're going to put underneath. You want to sort of center it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just sort of center your cloth over the top of it. And then put your piece with the screw over the top and start pressing it down. If you need to unscrew it a little bit more, you can do that if you need to. A nice, tight fit. And then once it's, the circles are flat into each other, go ahead and tighten your screw. So you should have a nice flat piece, pretty tight, a little bit like a drum. The next part is to trim. You wanna trim off all these corner pieces. So you want to trim off about this much. You don't wanna cut it too close because um, you wanna be able to glue it down. Unless you really want to, if you want to, you can trim it all the way, but it might slip. So you just want to trim off these big corners. So I trimmed mine up here. You can see it looks a little bit like pie crust, right? You just kind of trim around it in a circle, um, about a, a finger's worth. First joining your finger about right there. So we're just gonna fold it in and glue it. Now you can use your tacky glue, it will work. You'll probably have to, you know, hold it down for a little while when you are waiting for the glue to set. I'm going to use a hot glue gun right now just for the video's sake. So you have it all glued. The next part is you're going to need your template, your scissors, and your foam, and your pencil. So just trace around your template and then cut it out. Here's my foam template, my paper template. You can see they turned out pretty good. One thing I did forget to mention that is very handy to have during this project is some paper towels. You know, you're painting, it's good to have paper towels on hand. So I'm going to start with purple because I have a purple ribbon and I'm going to put the purple in the center. Never work over your project. Just in case you drip, we want to make sure that you're not, you know, painting over your canvas. You can paint over your paper towel or, you know, hold it. It's up to you. I'm going to move mine over to the side, put my paper towel down. You can use your sponge brush or your paintbrush, whichever one. 
I'm just going to use the sponge brush. Let's grab some of that paint. Just paint it over the bunny. You don't want it to be really thick, but you don't want it to be super thin either. Make sure that you're getting paint over the entire template. Because everywhere that you paint is what is going to be stamped on your canvas. I'm going to bring back my canvas and I'm going to put this under the screw part, but not quite dead center, just slightly off, up center. So right about here. Just lay him down and then gently press. Don't push, but just make sure that each part is pressed down. Sort of rub over him. Make sure that uh, if you have any paint on your hands, like I get a little bit on my hands, just make sure that you're wiping that off on the paper towel. You don't want to get it on your canvas because it will stain your canvas. Okay, and then just gently lift up your template. And you can see it's stamped onto there. Now you can leave yours looking very rustic like this or you can fill it in with your paintbrush if you prefer. This is where your, your fine tip brush comes in handy to just sort of fill in those spots. But I think this looks cool. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna show you fill it in, but you know, if I was doing this project for myself, I might decide to leave it a little bit more rustic. That's the creative part. Okay, now that I am satisfied, I am going to wash my brushes and I'm also gonna wash off my template. Now you don't have to wash it until he's absolutely white again, but you just wanna get off a majority of that paint so it doesn't transfer over when you use it for the next one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so you can see that he's not perfectly clean, but at least he's not this purple anymore. He's gonna work for Doing my next color. So just repeat the same step with purple, except we're gonna do that one over here and then wash our brushes and then do the other one over here. Next, you're going to use your gold and your sponge brush to paint a swoop along the bottom. You can make it as thick or as far across as you want. I like to start like just under midway under the pink bunny and just swoop across. Now for the drying time. Go ahead and wash your brushes, clean up your area. We have to wait for this to dry. Okay, the next part is going to require your glue and your pom-poms. Going to open your glue. Put a little dot on each of the bunnies in the center. 
near the bottom, but not all the way at the bottom. And then put a pom-pom on each one. Next, we're going to just put this aside and get out your ribbon. Go ahead and unfurl your ribbon. Then we're just going to tie a bow. So start about a quarter of the way. Just make a loop. Go around. Go through and then just keep adjusting until you have a ribbon that is also tight. Don't worry about your ends being super even at this point. You just want your bows to be about the same and nice and tight. Then this is wired ribbon. You can fluff it up. You can bend it. So here I have a bow and my ends are pretty even, but they're a little bit long. So I'm going to just fishtail them here. To fishtail, which just gives it a nice like finished clean end. You're gonna fold this, your ribbon in half and cut from the folded side at an angle towards the wire end. See how it did that? It made a nice triangle. I'm going to do that on the other side. And again, you can use your, your tacky glue for Quickness sake, I'm just going to use a little hot glue right here. Just put it right at the top. At this point, you can further adjust your ribbon if you'd like. Okay, we're almost done. Last step is your marker. In the gold down here, you can write, you know, your family name or Happy Easter or Happy Spring or 
any little phrase that you want. You're just going to want to make sure that it's going to fit in here. So keep it to no more than three words, I would say. I like to write happy spring. There you go. You're all finished and ready to hang. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed making the Easter slash spring wall hanging, the bunny wall art. Uh, I enjoyed making it with you. I'd love to see the ones that you make. If you could take a picture of it and send it to us on social media or our info email, info at trpld.org. We would appreciate it. We love to see what you do. Thank you so much and happy crafting.